My name is Agustin Rabino, and I'm originally from Argentina. I came here two and a half years ago to pursue my PhD. My name is Katarina Turner. Um, I'm a PhD candidate here in the Avador Reis lab. I went to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, where I received my um, Bachelor's of Science in Biology. My name is Abhishek Podar. I am from India, and my undergrad degree is in Microbiology. Uh, from University of Calcutta back in India. My name is Stephen Muhindi. I'm from Kenya. I did bachelor, bachelor degree in biological science, biomedical option. My name is Mamata Mullo. I'm from Nepal. Um, I did my undergrad in biotechnology from Kathmandu University. My name is Gabe. Uh, I'm from Rochester, New York. I did my uh, bachelor's at uh, Roberts Wesleyan College in biochemistry. When I was in my undergrad, uh, I came to learn about all the research advancements that have been made, especially in finding the cure for very deadly diseases. So at that point, I realized that I didn't just want to uh, learn about other people's projects or progresses, I wanted to be a part of it. So I uh, wanted very early on to do science, um, and so I knew that if I wanted to do anything impactful in science, and also to dictate the type of research that I did, I'd probably need that higher education beyond just a bachelor's in science. I really had good mentors and really knew early on that I wanted to get into a higher level of education. I was previously already fascinated by natural sciences and wanted to solve uh, fundamental problems. So that motivated me to pursue a higher education here. Yeah. Well, after I finish my PhD, I want to do a postdoctoral position where I can continue to develop as a scientist and eventually start my own lab. What I want to pursue later in my career will be uh, academia at this point. I really like the idea of doing research and also mentoring young students. Currently, I'm open to both academia as well as industry, so I can go both in industry as well as join a postdoc. I love doing experiments. I love working in the lab. I look for similar jobs, but most likely in an industrial setting. The University of Toledo has a lot of research opportunities, as well as the department is consistently well funded. Yeah, I was struck by all the capabilities they have here, from the well-funded uh, department with all their microscopes, and also the state-of-the-art um, instrumentation center they have here. Well, the University of Toledo stood out to me for its fantastic uh, group of researchers that uh, work here. And in particular, I fell in love with the research in one of the labs. I had the opportunity to do a type of research that I was interested in, in terms of using the mammalian model. And it was really great to have a sort of a smaller atmosphere um, where I could connect more closely with my mentor, um, as well as other faculty. Right now, I'm working on uh, characterizing different domains of a protein which is known as PKD2. And uh, my project is focused on understanding how different domains of PKD2 regulate its uh, localization and its function. So currently, I'm working with epithelial cells and how they pack together to form this tightly packed monolayer. I'm currently working on uh, calcium signaling, how uh, calcium plays a role in uh, regulating cytokinesis. So I'm currently uh, working on a breast cancer model and I want to understand the fundamental signaling processes that can go wrong in, in normal tissues and normal human cells uh, that result in cancerous uh, cells. My project focus is on application of silicon in modulating plant defensing to strengthen uh, uh, plants' innate immunity. Currently, my research focuses on male infertility. Um, specifically, I use multiple uh, mammalian models as sort of a comparative biology to investigate the similarities and the differences between these different species. So 
Now, a typical workday is highly variable um, in a PhD. Some days I'm um, mostly doing writing where I'm trying to put down all the ideas I've had or write up some of the experiments. Other days I'm at the bench all day where I'm pipetting and um, combining reagents. On a typical day I would maybe use this machine here which is a confocal microscope to look at immunofluorescence veinings of the sperm. I do a lot of data analysis, uh, computational image analysis, a lot of cell biology like growing cells. Uh, in my typical day, I design a real-time PCR. I also do cloning. I do a lot of PCRs. Um, but then other times, I am here at the microscope, where I'm then uh, imaging cells and taking movies of cells as they grow and they move around. So it's a very uh, dynamic and variable environment to work in. Uh, outside of the lab, I'm a very avid salsa dancer, so I'll travel around and go salsa dancing in the area. Outside of the lab, uh, I really like uh, snowboarding, so I'm happy that the University of Toledo is surrounded by small ski resorts. So during winter, um, every time I can, I go up to Michigan uh, to snowboard. There's also a, a developing uh, coffee culture uh, in Ohio, so I love going to all the local coffee shops. There's constantly new ones that are springing up. The Toledo Zoo is free on Mondays to Toledo residents, um, and the art museum here in Toledo is also free every single day. I love hiking. There are a lot of parks nearby, so uh, usually on the weekends I go for a hike. Um, there's also live music pretty much every night of the week, and uh, you have a great variety of restaurants here. I think you'd be surprised with how small of a city it is, how big a variety there is in restaurants as well. I really like living in Toledo because although it is a small town compared to where I come from, it has a really lively downtown with concerts during summer and also the community around the University of Toledo is really great. Toledo is a, a beautiful area. It's nice and like centrally located. Um, it also has a very low cost of living which cannot be understated as a graduate student as a big benefit. I really enjoy living in Toledo. The people here are uh, particularly nice um, and I've made quite a few uh, lifelong friends since I've been here. I'm loving it here, um, especially the weather is very nice. I love the spring, I love summer, I love fall, everything is beautiful here and if you like snow, winter is beautiful here too.